it's Rose and I'm here today with another diamond painting unboxing. Now this is from a company that I personally have not bought from before but I know that many of you have and it's Everyday E-Deals. Uh, and this company approached me on, uh, well in late July to see whether I'd be interested in doing an unboxing video for them and so I checked out their website and I liked their products and so I said sure so they let me choose uh, a diamond painting that um, that I would want to unbox for them so this is what I chose now I could have chosen I think two or three smaller ones or one big one and I went for the one big one so uh, this, well, there's the code for it, for those of you who like the code, and it's uh, supposed to be 45 by 85, but that's the canvas. Uh, the website says that the drill area is 39 by 79. So we will confirm that in just a moment. And what does it come with? It comes with a kit, single placer, a few little bags, some wax, a green boat, and no, there's no multi-placer. So there we go. Uh, now this is really big, which is, hmm, I'm gonna have to move you back a little bit. And I can't move you up anymore, but I just thought this would be beautiful. <laughs> it does have an awful lot of color blocking of three tens for those of you who like color blocking and because it's round drills usually we don't have problems with uh, the drills on a on a round drill diamond paintings I was very comfortable getting a diamond painting that has this much 310 on it uh, but it looks just beautiful and I think if I really really like it I think I, when it's done, I think I know exactly where I want to put it in my house, well, my condo, um, because it's, it, it'll fit a little piece of wall beside a window that really nothing else will fit on. Um, so, yeah. Isn't it nice? I really like it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to reorient the camera now and bring you down to show you the uh, legend. It has 25 colors. And then we'll take a look at the drill field as well. So I'm just going to pause while I do that. Okay, so uh, here we go with the legend. And... Um, I have this blown up as big as possible, so any little movement I make will be exaggerated, so uh, I apologize if this is very shaky. Okay, so I'm glad to see that we have DMC numbers on the canvas. Uh, they are not marked on the individual bags, um, but this will allow me to put away easily any leftovers. And just in terms of the symbols, uh, looks like it's letters. Yeah, it's all letters. And I'm going to take you out of the holder and we're going to take a look at the canvas and itself it's now. So I'm going to measure it now. And it is actually closer to 40 centimeters wide instead of the uh, 39. Um, and top to bottom. It's 80 centimeters high. So you get an extra... Um, centimeter in both directions, which is a fair amount of extra diamond painting to do. All right, so let's just see. Oh, that's super, super clear. 
even through the plastic with all the glare. Uh, you wouldn't even need a light pad to work on this. That is just as sharp as broken glass. Wow. And I don't see anything so far that I would find confusing or difficult to distinguish one symbol from another. Now I'm moving the canvas rather than the phone. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything that gives me pause, except there's a whole heck of a lot of a... Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I bet you those are going to be pretty colors. Oh, I am excited about this. Scared, but excited. Scared because uh, this is only one of the very large diamond paintings that I've bought or gotten in the last uh, few days, actually. So, so I'm just a little terrified thinking about um, how I'm going to get all my big diamond paintings done. So this year I'm focusing on uh, getting a hundred diamond paintings from my stash finished. Now, so far as of today, I've finished 61. In the next few days, I'll finish another, you know, big one, 50 by 70. <coughs> Excuse me. So that'll be 62. So I'll have the rest of the year to finish another, you know, 38 diamond paintings, which I think is reasonable. Because um, again, most of them will be the smaller ones. I do plan on working on a few of the bigger ones, though. Um, but next year... I think my uh, focus will be on getting more of the big projects done because I have so many big projects and um, and they take you know they take more sustained attention but whereas this year I've been working on uh, the small diamond paintings during the weekends and then you know just plugging away at the big ones all week um with very few exceptions uh yeah it, it just takes longer to do the big diamond paintings uh so so there's not as much sense of accomplishment and completion until i finish one and it's like yeah that's worth 10 of you know a special shapes diamond paintings or, or even some of them are worth like 50 of a special shapes diamond painting so um just in terms of the amount of time that it takes to complete them. Okay, so I've shown you this. Uh, wow. Oh, that's just gorgeous. I do like fish. My father used to have aquaria when he was, um, before he was married. When he got married, his wife didn't really like the aquariums too much, I think. But, um, so he always had fancy fish. Uh, in his bedroom. He had this great big, I don't know, 100 gallon aquarium in his bedroom and he kept it stocked with various fish and uh, my brother and I, like we were in our 20s, but whenever we'd go down to see him because we lived in the apartment upstairs, uh, we'd always spend time just sitting on the end of his bed and watching his fish because they were so, so um, peaceful and just interesting to watch and so forth. Also, I'm a Pisces, so I do like fish um, just for that. But I just thought these were absolutely beautiful. And this canvas is going to be absolutely stunning when it's finished. Because that all that 310 is going to make the colors of the fish Hop like crazy. Okay, uh, so I've spent a long time on the canvas. Now I'm going to show you the drills. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit for now. Oh, it's a very heavy bag. Like it's a thick, thick cellophane bag. 
uh, which is nice because uh, that's one that I'll be able to just put the drills right back in there without worrying about them falling apart. Let me tell you about this diamond painting while we're going on. So um, I was approached in late July and uh, on July 30th, that was the date. And I'm just going to show you these colors um, from the back and show you the drills close up. There we go. Uh, while I talk. Um, oh, wow. Those are nice and flat. And look at the sharp edges on those round drills. Nice. Okay, I see one that has a little tab on it. It's kind of sideways there. So I wouldn't be able to use that. It looks like some of these have tabs on them. Um, which what I do with the round drills is I just put the tab, if, if I'm running out of drills of a particular color, I put the tabs facing into the empty space, uh, sort of on the diagonal, uh, because that way the tabs generally don't touch anything else and they just fill up the space that much better. Um, so I'm not too fussed about that, but what it does mean is that, uh, like just with this color, I am seeing a lot of those tabs. And so, uh, this one, it will take a little bit of, you know, finessing to make sure that the tabs are all facing in, um, the same direction to avoid having popping drills. Cause otherwise, uh, there'll be popping drills. Okay. Um, yeah, so on uh, July 30th, uh, I settled, we settled on the diamond painting that I would uh, do a review for, and I got notification that it had been shipped on August 2nd, and then I just received it yesterday, August 17th. So I'm taking a long time looking at these drills. Uh, because I'm looking for more of those tabs. So, so far it just seems to be this peach color that has a lot of tabs. Um, these look good and they're so flat. Wow, okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is color number three. Okay, so these are all three tens here. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven bags of three tens. I, that's a lot of three tens. Uh, so let's just take a moment and uh, just, I'm looking for tabs since I saw tabs on uh, that first one, but these look good. Oh, there's a tab right there. In more or less in the center of the screen. That one, actually, the tab is so big, I wouldn't use that drill um, because it would it would actually fill the space on the diagonal and uh, could push the other drill aside. I don't know what Pippi is all excited about. Okay, so these they look pretty good. Um, I do like the fact that they're so flat, like there's no cupping at all, no concavity. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. Okay. All right. I don't know that I have to go through all of these three tens like that. Okay. Let's look at the next color. And I'm not seeing any tabs here. These look perfect. These look perfect. Yeah. I'm taking a little bit more time than I normally would because I did see that the very first color that we looked at together had some issues. So I just want to make sure that it's only that color that I'm going to have uh, issues with. Now, uh, down below, of course, you will find um, the link to this diamond painting. 
and uh, I'll also include the link to uh, their diamond paintings that are all $3.99. Now I'm pretty sure that that's US dollars, um, but, uh, but you might be interested in checking out uh, those as well. They have some really, you know, very nice diamond paintings. And for $3.99, you can't go wrong. Uh, this one, by the way, was uh, $32.50. Uh, US now I didn't pay for it uh, because you know they sent it to me for review uh, in Canadian funds that's forty two dollars and sixty three cents uh, as of I guess the 30th of July whatever the exchange rate was then um, I don't know what the exchange rate is today uh, but ooh, I like that bright yellow and I've been talking and not paying attention to tabs so, no, there's no tabs. So it looks like it was just that first, that first color that had tabs. Okay, let's look at the next strip. There are two strips of diamonds. So I'm, this is color number 11. What's, what's 11? 780, 782? Okay, all right. Um, 782, and yeah, these drills are all really good. So uh, Everyday E-Deals uh, tends to have a lot, because I always check out their websites to see, you know, whether uh, whether it's a company that I would be happy to do a review for. If, if I don't like their products, I'm not going to do a review for them. Um, like if I don't like their website. Uh, it uh, I do like their, their website, though, uh, although it's called Today's Savings. When you get there, it doesn't say Everyday E-Deals anywhere. Uh, it says uh, today's savings and when I got the um, shipping notification it came from Vanille Beauté uh, so nowhere did it identify everyday e-deals so that's something that maybe you guys would find as well I don't know maybe it's just because I was being approached by the marketing department um, yeah these drills all look good uh, but um, but the branding was not consistent across all of their uh, communications and I mean that's not a problem that's nothing wrong with the company but uh, I wasn't sure if I was being if it was everyday e-deals that was communicating with me about the shipping because I had actually been approached by a whole bunch of different stores all at once uh, in, in July uh, probably about five or six stores approached me to ask whether uh, I would do unboxings for them. Uh, yeah, these look good too. Um, and so when I got the email from Vanille, Vanille Beauté saying that they had shipped something, uh, it didn't identify what had been shipped. And so I wasn't sure um, if it was the Everyday E-Deals. But Everyday e Deals was the only company that um, only shipped me one diamond painting. So far, there's another Saner Direct from Amazon is sending me something later. Um, so, uh, but yeah, at that time, Everyday e Deals was the only one that had um, was sending me just one diamond painting. So I was pretty sure it was Everyday e Deals, uh, even though the email came from a different company. Um, so, yeah, these look fine. These look fine. It's just that first color that, um, that I'll need to be careful placing drills. And you know what? Every manufacturing plant has some issues sometimes. And, because nothing's perfect, right? And, um... But these other drills, they all look perfect. So I'm not seeing any tabs on anything. Yeah, okay, so this, this is gonna be fine. And really, I mean, compared to, hold on, yeah, this is the color that I, that had the, the tabs. Um, is it? Hold on. Yeah, this is the color that had the tabs. And um, how many are there? Like, you know, maybe there's 
400 or 500 here at the most. So that's not too bad. All right, let's zoom back out. Um, that's it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very happy with this. I am absolutely delighted uh, to be able to review a new company for me. Um, I think the image is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Those colors. Oh, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so this will go into my penny pick. Uh, I will not be starting to work on this right now. I've got a lot of other larger projects that I have to work on. And Christmas is coming. And so I have some diamond paintings I'm going to have to do for Christmas. Um, so this will go into my coin pick uh, bowl. And um, this is item number 386, by the way, uh, in terms of my diamond painting. So, um, so it'll go into the bowl. And uh, whenever its number comes up, that's when I'll start working on it. And you can be assured that I will come back to you either with a post-completion review or uh, I might do a drilling chat with this in the meantime, whenever the number comes up. Uh, for my patrons on Patreon, uh, when I'm working on large diamond paintings, I post uh, updates, you know, a couple of times a month on the progress that I've made on various diamond paintings. So uh, that's another way, if you want to keep track of what I'm up to, you could become a patron. Uh, so with that, I want to thank Caroline at Everyday Ideals uh, for uh, selecting my channel to do a review of the Everyday Ideals uh, products. I want to thank her for this absolutely gorgeous diamond painting. Um, I'm so, so happy with the look of it. It does not disappoint at all. And um, I want to thank all of my viewers and subscribers uh, for coming back and visiting with me on a regular basis. Please continue to do that. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. And if you're not a subscriber yet, do set uh, do subscribe to my channel. Okay, thanks everybody. I'll be back to you again tomorrow or the next day with another diamond painting video. Bye-bye for now.